This game has so much potential going for it right now. It is nearly there. I mean, I can start to see the finishing line of this game. It is only still very early alpha. And if this is what kind of uh, imagination and creativity they're, they're putting into the game, and the kind of technology as well, into this game, then the full product will be just mind-blowing. I mean, it will be more than mind-blowing. I, I think this game is literally a game changer. This is a game that I can see running and lasting just as long as Gmod, if not longer into the foreseeable future, with many, many new alterations to it. There's going to be new servers, I'm sure. And this is going to be one of them games that is definitely going down in the history books, but especially this uh, decade at least, to be one of the most recognized, awesome games ever made and you know that might be a bit of a bold statement to make right this second but just just look i'm going from like a really kind of temperate landscape to rocks to then going on to well ice snow i mean the gameplay changes again that is the dynamic element to this game i mean you've got boulders you've got you've got boulders you've got you you've got like ice boulders in the middle of the freaking ocean with a sunrise like that ice boulders you've got so much natural beauty in this game and the graphics are only set to get better and better as it implement more designs into the game now what I am gonna do is I am going to uh, build an actual main part of a base here and uh, this is where most of my future episodes, hopefully, if I do not get raided, I seriously wish they will implement uh, some kind of metal uh, doors into this game just for extra security or metal walls or something along the lines of that. I'm sure that is well being thought of and that is going to be developed extremely soon. As I'm pretty sure I am not the only one requesting this. So uh, we're gonna try and find a nice spot. Now, what do I need to do? When you find a, when you're thinking of like building a house in Rust, you need to think of locations. Now, it should never be out in the open. I mean, that's just asking to get raided. You might as well bend over, let them just literally have their way with you because that is essentially what you're doing, having a base out into the open. So you need to be more careful. Now, big massive landmarks like this is good for hiding your base to a certain extent only use this option if you literally have no other options because it's as it is good to build in a place like this but have you noticed one thing you come up to a place like this have you seen one tree yet because I've not seen one tree I have seen many I can see them all going up there as well. I have seen many ores, but I have not seen any wood. Now, wood is essential to play Rust. You you need to have trees, and 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 uh, when I mean wood, I mean trees, and I mean also wooden. Uh, well, they look like, like wooden sticks, like laid on the ground, uh, that give you wood faster, because you need that for, for example, putting wood into your furnace so you can. Uh, keep the furnace going to uh, melt all your metal and sulfur and all that good stuff so and it's also good for expanding your base building bases in the first place so you need to try and get the best of both worlds but you cannot build out in the open that will just be suicidal so uh, what you need to do is kind of build in the middle uh, one place where you have wood and then one place where you know where it's a really short like trip to get resources now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a little bit out of the way I'm gonna build round about here it's not gonna be so obvious I'm not gonna build something ridiculous like 25 stories high or anything it's gonna go maybe one story high for now and then I'm gonna uh, improve it to a two-story building when uh, when I'm playing with friends or uh, something along the lines of that I mean you never know in this game you can make allies but uh, it's more than likely you're gonna make a lot of enemies so what I am gonna do is I'm gonna place uh, my foundation down and uh, make sure I have my foundation yep oh god uh, this is the thing you can't exit once you click so I'm not gonna find uh, my foundation okay here we go 
Now, with laying the foundation, I always recommend building on the higher bit first. So if it like dips down like that, do not build there because uh, you will not be able to build back on yourself. So try and find a high bit first. I roughly recommend somewhere in the middle just to get you uh, started. And I'm going to put that there. So now you have a nice clean kind of build and it doesn't go out too far. And then for your first house, I do uh, try and recommend a 3x2. Just so then it's not too big for your very first, like, like say, bit of your house, your very first like part. And it doesn't take a load of time to, uh, to try and build it. It's just quick and easy. Oh, and they've even sold this down a little bit as well. So now... Where this hammer as well, I've only just noticed this. Where this hammer used to like go da 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 done da 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 done, it's now da 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 done. Uh, so that's interesting. It means now you've got to spend a little bit more time in building, which you know I don't mind about because I do appreciate everything that I do build. I do think um, it does certainly add a bit more realism to the game because obviously hammering down like I don't know maybe you masturbating or something going like the speed of uh, Speedy Gonzales is not realistic in the slightest so I can see why they've done that and uh, I think that was a really cool implementation now I can hear people in the distance uh, hitting wood and now just for this bit whilst I'm building as long as uh, I keep my hair out firm because uh, I do have a really good uh, set of high quality headphones so as long as he's not going to uh, endanger me in any way shape or form I don't mind him being over there for now I mean once I get my stuff built and he's still in the area and I will go over there to check if he is friendly if he is not friendly or he does not respond then you know what I will take him down just for the simple fact is I've said it in my previous videos I have played this game too many times to uh, to trust people in the in the simple fact of you know I have uh, just been stabbed in the back too many times from from uh, little boys who just want to kill people which you know people do play it for that reason you know what everyone's bought the game everyone can play it exactly the way they want uh, that doesn't bother me however you know it just made me more uh, hesitant to trust people, let's just say that.